Hi everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another Christmas kind of video. So if you remember last Sunday we did these beautiful sort of black Christmas cards, silver and gold. I promised this week we would do white, so we're just going to do a white on white and we are. Um, I haven't had time, I was wanting to do two or three and I haven't had time because the Ponsettia dies came in two days ago and I'm working as fast as I can to get all of the orders out to you. Um, so I've really just had time to have a break for an hour and do this because it's literally what Sunday morning I think it's about 11 o'clock it's the 9th and this is the day this will go out it'll go out straight after this so I've only just grabbed an hour to do this so I think what we'll do is next week we'll carry on some more white and we'll do a few next week by then they'll all be out and then we might move on to like a pink Christmas and maybe it's even lilac or purple or whatever so what I've took is some linen cardstock I've had this for a while and I've never used it and as I say all the time I get mine from Lime Tree Crafts so I'll put the link for that they don't ship outside the UK as far as I'm aware but this is the linen inspiration so that's what I'm using now I think with white on white you really need to keep it all the same because if you start using different whites they're going to be different you know different tones different shades and that's when I think it starts to look a bit off really so everything is cut with the same so I've made my own card base which is five by seven I've cut a smaller piece which I would imagine would be four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths then what I've done is I've just took some different dies you just use whatever you've got and I've cut this here which is going to be which is going to go on the front then I've cut another one this is from the die I used last week um, sorry it's out of stock now since I used it but I will get more in hopefully in the next couple of weeks so I've used that which will go on there then I've just cut another piece and I've just embossed it with an embossing folder this is an old one from Stampin' Up. As far as I'm aware, they don't make it anymore. So just use what you have and that will go on there like that. Now, I've used this beautiful little die. I do have these on, on my website. It's Creative Expressions and it's beautiful. Um, it's a, like a three layer tree. So you would cut it out three times and then you can layer your, sorry, wrong way layer your little tree up and it is gorgeous when it's together it's so nice so I've cut two of them and then I've cut just little bits and pieces that same die I used last week I'm in love with this die I'm going to try and get some of these to sell on my website because it's beautiful so I've cut bits of them I've also cut some of the creative expressions cut and lift ponsettia I've had these for years I get these out every year I love them in just little bits and pieces now I've got some Sizzix expand paste this is great to use as fake snow and I've just grabbed some other little things like stickles and stuff so I don't really know how I'm gonna go I'm just gonna kind of go along and hope it works out if I'm honest because I think with white on white I think to get it really nice and effective you want to be layering different layers different textures but all the same white card to get that really nice effect okay so the base layer and then this and then this and I think as well I'm going to build them up with foam pads so it's not flat so let me grab some foam pads and start sticking this on now I'll probably speed a lot of it up because I know last week when I made these a lot of people asked if the wish I'd shown how to do the flowers I will we'll, we will do all of this it's just at the minute it's difficult I really need to get this die out to people um, you know I always make that my first priority to get these orders out so we will you know we will get everything done so I'm going to put these on with foam pads first now 
I don't want to feel like I'm rabbiting this week because I, I normally don't like rabbit about things, but I just wanted to touch on a couple of things. Um, if you do order from my website and you live um, overseas, you know, America, Australia, wherever you are, um, I have noticed that quite a few people have been leaving a review saying, leaving one star and saying they haven't received it. Now, I do say there is a part on my website which says, please expect it could take five, six weeks to get here. They're leaving these after a couple of weeks. Um, and I wasn't going to say anything, but there was a lady who she did it and she left me an email the other day. I'm not going to mention her name, um, but I know she watches the videos and she said, apologized and said she was so sorry. She'd left a one star. She got a order and um, she realized she didn't give it long enough and she wanted to apologize. How could she remove the review? And I said to her, yes, look, there's a lot of people doing it. And it, if it continues, it's not about the one star review. I couldn't really care less about that. It's the fact that I work so hard. Um, most nights I'm up till one or two o'clock in the morning doing your orders. You know, often overseas ones, I will put free gifts in because I know you haven't to pay extra postage. And then to get that, I just think, OK, if that's the way it's going to be, I'll just stop international shipping altogether because it's not fair it isn't fair on me i have no control over the postal service um so just bear that in mind because like i said i don't think it's fair so i wanted to really say that because it just it's really making us upset that because it's not my fault so anyway i've got that on there that's gonna go on there um, now I might put this one on flat because I don't want it to be too bulky. Um, we probably may fit this one in an envelope because I promised as well I said we will make boxes and we will. So that's going to be on there like that. So that's what I've got up to now. So I'm going to put the little tree, glue the little trees together. They will go on the front. And then I might start and get some of the expand paste out. So I'm going to get these stuck together and I'll be back. OK, so I've done the trees. They are so nice. I love these little trees. And what I might do is just try a bit of the expand paste. It looks really yellow, Ugh, but when you sort of set it with your heat tool it goes really white as far as I can remember I hope it does because I don't want it to look yellow otherwise it's just going to ruin the look of the card so I'll just get a little pokey tool or something out and you know you can just put it where just little bits just dotted around the tree but this is from Sizzix and I have quite a few tubs of this from when I worked with Sizzix and I love the stuff so I am going to try that. Failing that if it isn't really as white as I want it I will just cut out another tree. I mean yeah that, that's pretty white. I mean you can see the difference. It looks yellow, but it dries really white. So yeah, I like this. So I'm gonna do the other one. But yes, I have a lot of stuff for, you know, fake snow and yeah, they are lovely. But what puts me off is a lot of them take hours to dry. Um, this isn't, it's instant. So I mean, trust us, I've got, I think I've got every product going. Fluffy stuff, snow techs, um, Eileen's, all sorts. But I always go to this one because I just haven't got time to wait hours for it to dry, basically. We've now got gorgeous snowy trees. So the plan is we will have a tree there. We will have a tree there. And 
as I said, I've cut out some of these beautiful sort of pine sprig things again. So I'm sort of going to have them. I think I'm going to go for the bottom, the top left and the bottom right hand corner. And I'm just going to arrange them. I mean, obviously I'm just doing it rough for now, but I'll probably have a flower there, a flower there. And then I've also cut out some other little bits that I have from other dyes, some mistletoe and stuff. You know, you know what I mean? I'm just going to sort of create some little interest in there. Um, the sentiment I've used is Noel. I've, I've cut that from silver because I don't want it to be invisible and I've just used some foam to lift it up because what I might do is I might put it in the middle of the two trees. Okay, just like that, which I think that looks quite nice. So I think I'm gonna get on, stick these down and then we'll probably finish off with some, maybe some stickles, some more snow and some little embellishments. And I just wanted to quickly show you that I put it on the little branches. <laughs> Kitty. And that looks really, really nice. So <laughs> when Kitty gets out the way, I'm going to probably just speed it up and get this together. There we go. I think that is so pretty and I'm just sitting on my cat. Oh. <laughs> so I just have to stick it onto the card base. I forgot about that bit actually so I may have to let this dry and then I will pop it on to the card base. But yes, I think that is beautiful. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it'll inspire you. Yeah, that's drying. I may have to hot... No, I think they're sticking now. I was going to say I may have to hot glue them on. But um, yeah, so I've got... I have these on my website and I've got these lovely new sort of... They remind me of snowflakes, but I have them in silver, gold... Um, I've got loads of stuff back in, the swirly sentiments, loads of things. So if you want to go and have a look. But yes, I think that is gorgeous. So I will be back next week. We'll continue with White Christmas. We'll do a few more and we'll do some boxes and stuff. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.